Some youth soccer coaches believe that USA will never produce the best professional soccer players because they do not retain enough of the best athletes who play other sports such as basketball and American football. Today we will analyze this belief to see the validity of such conclusions. We will take into account traits that are relatively easily tracked among all three sports including height, speed, and jumping. Let's start with looking at the physical characteristic of height. The average height of an NBA, National Basketball Association, player has varied slightly over the years, but it generally hovers around 6 feet 7 inches, about 200 centimeters. This average can fluctuate slightly depending on the season and the specific players in the league at any given time. Traditionally, players in certain positions, like centers, tend to be taller, often 7 feet, about 213 centimeters, or more, while guards tend to be shorter, with averages closer to 6 feet 3 inches, about 190 centimeters. These averages reflect the diverse range of player heights in the league, showcasing the importance of height in this sport while also highlighting the success of players of various statures. The average height of an NFL, National Football League, player varies by position, as different roles on the field require different physical attributes. However, across all positions, the average height tends to be around 6 feet 2 inches, about 188 centimeters. In the game of soccer, arguably the three greatest players to play the game are Pele, Maradona, and Messi at 5 feet 8 inches, 5 feet 5 inches, and 5 feet 7 inches, respectively. Between three of the top five professional soccer leagues in the world, the English Premier League, the Bundesliga, and League One. According to various sources, the average English Premier League player is about 5 feet 11.95 inches tall. In the 2012-2013, Bundesliga.com stated that the average player was about 5 feet 10 inches tall, but reported that players have grown slightly taller a decade later with some sources reporting the average Bundesliga player to be about 5 feet 11 inches to 6 feet tall. In League One, multiple sources appear to put the average height of a player around 5 feet 10 inches to 5 feet 11 inches tall. According to GiveMeSport.com in January 2024 for the 2023-2024 season, the data on the heights of English Premier League players were revealed by the website, Transfermarkt. The teams with the highest average height are, Everton, Nottingham Forest, Tottenham, Newcastle United, and, Crystal Palace. As of February 10, 2024, to the top five teams in the league in order of highest to lowest are Manchester City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Aston Villa, and Tottenham. Referring back to arguably three of the greatest players of all time, Pele, Maradona, and Messi, it would appear that there is no correlation between becoming the greatest player and height. So even if American players are shorter than the European counterparts, this would play no part in hindering the potential talent that can be unleashed within American soccer players. Next we cover speed. According to ProFootballNetwork.com, the fastest players in the National Football League as of October 22, 2023 according to writer, Dalton Miller at Tyreek Hill at number 1, Devon Akain at number 2, and Raheem Mostert at number 3. Tyreek Hill also has the fastest ever recorded top speed in an NFL game. During his rookie season, Tyreek Hill hit 23.24 miles per hour. In 2020, Raheem Mostert held the top two spots in Next General Stats speed clocking, running 23.09 miles per hour in week two after hitting 22.73 miles per hour the week before. 
According to Kelma.com, the top 10 fastest recorded professional soccer players according to their sources are Mickey van der Ven, Carl Walker, Chiodosi Ogbené, Pedro Neto, Dominic Essobosli, Dara O'Shea, Anthony Gordon, Amadou Onana, Antonio Rudiger, and Mikhailo Mudrik. Mikhailo Mudrik was ranked 10th at a recorded 36.63 km per hour equivalent to 22.76 miles per hour. Other sources had players as Mbappe and Cristiano Ronaldo in their top lists. Still other sources like footysamba.com had Erling Haaland at 22.55 miles per hour as of December 2023. In the MLS 2022 season, Second Spectrum, a software company that analyzes professional sport athletes and teams from the NFL, NBA, and English Premier League had the fastest eight players recorded by Cade Cowell, Luis Diaz, Jesus Ferreira, John Nelson, Yimmy Chara, Alvis Powell, Patrick Kamala, and Jordan Morris. Kate Cowell clocked in the highest speed at 22.77 miles per hour. When equating how top speed interplays with the best players in the world, from 2007 to 2023, five players won the Ballon d'Or. Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Luka Modric, Karim Benzema, and Ricardo Kaka. About 11 years ago Kaka posted via Twitter, I hit a top speed of 29.59 km per hour in the UEFA Champions League. Can you go faster? Hashtag Provit hashtag Champions League, which equates to 18.38 miles per hour. Although it may likely not be his top speed, it is the most official source we have found. Lionel Messi was not in any of the fastest player lists, but there was a source stating his top speed was 20.19 miles per hour. From these statistics here, we can gather that although speed may be important, being the fastest has very little to do with being the best player when it comes to professional soccer at the highest level. This leads us to conclude that athletic players being distributed between the sports of soccer, basketball, and football may not hinder American youth soccer players from becoming the most elite players in the world. Statistics such as maximum strength are not tracked within the world of professional soccer compared to a sport like the National Football League, so these statistics cannot be compared. However, when we look at players such as Maradona and Messi against their counterparts, it is clear that based off of bench presses and squats, they are clearly not the strongest, but how this translates to strength needed in a soccer game is not entirely clear compared to other types of strength training. Next we cover the vertical jump. We were not able to find the highest recorded vertical jumps in a game made by NFL players. But we did find the highest recorded vertical jumps by players in the NFL Combine. For the NBA and soccer, we were able to get the highest recorded vertical jumps in game. In the NBA, the top five highest recorded vertical jumps are from Michael Jordan, Daryl Griffith, Jason Richardson, Anthony Webb, and James White. The top five highest recorded vertical jumps were from Michael Jordan and Daryl Griffith at 48 inches. Zion Williams also has a relatively close vertical recorded at 45 inches. In the NFL Combine, the five highest recorded verticals are from Gerald Sensabaugh at 46 inches, Cameron Wake at 45.5 inches, Chris Chambers, Donald Washington, Chris McKenzie, and Chris Conley all at 45 inches. In the world of professional soccer, the two players with the highest recorded jumps are Cristiano Ronaldo at 41.73 inches, Youssef N. Nessiri at 35.4 inches. However, MLS combines do record their vertical jumps. 
The top vertical jump recorded was reportedly in 2017 by Chris Odoi at SEM at 36.5 inches. As of August 2023, Ronaldo was recorded as the professional player with the most career-headed goals at 145. Gerd Müller recorded 145 headed goals. And Pele recorded at 124 headed goals according to Sportskeeda.com. Of all the categories of athleticism, this one factor would appear to make the biggest difference for better players given the correlation between Cristiano Ronaldo's recorded vertical height and the fact he has scored the most headed goals. But, when you consider that Gerd Müller had 144 headed goals at 5 feet 9 inches, compared to Ronaldo's 145 at 6 feet 2 inches, it makes you consider whether something else is at play besides vertical height. That wraps up our analyses on whether American soccer players need the most athletic players to become the best players in the world. We will let you make your conclusion from these statistics.